Welcome to Electron Line. Now another outfall of this postulate of Einstein where he said that the speed of light in free space has the same value in all inertial reference frame gave us another really strange problem. Einstein had this canny ability to look at certain situations to come up with these very strange and very interesting thinking experiments. Experiments that couldn't really be held in real life because it would be impossible. But he said, what if? What if we could do this? What would it be like? So he came up with this experiment, thought experiment, where he said, let's say that we're in a rocket moving at the speed of light. Now we understand today that that's no longer possible, or not no longer possible, it's not possible at all. It has never been possible. Nothing can ever move at the speed of light unless it has no mass such as light. But let's say that we could, just for the sake of argument, have a spaceship that could travel at the speed of light. And again, the person being on the spaceship gets very bored, climbs on top in his spacesuit, and tries to do this experiment. He takes with him a stick, and at the end of the stick there's a mirror. And he holds that mirror and that stick in front of him, and so what would happen normally is if you're standing on the earth and you did this very same experiment, light would come from the sun, it would hit you on the head, that light would then be reflected or scattered onto the mirror and then the mirror would reflect it back into your eyes and you would actually see your image in the mirror. That's how we see ourselves when we look in the mirror. The light reflects off of us, bounces up against the mirror, comes back, enters our eyes and we see our image that way. So what would happen though if the spaceship was moving at the speed of light and so was the observer in the mirror? Well, classical mechanics would dictate that the light would bounce off your helmet and then would move in the direction of the mirror. But since the light can only move at the speed of light and the mirror is moving away at the speed of light, light could never catch the mirror. So the light that then scatters off you, off the helmet of the space, space voyager, would, ne never able, would never be able to reach the mirror to be able to bounce off and come back. And so the question is, what would the person here see in the mirror and classic from classical physics, we would say nothing. The image cannot be formed because light simply cannot catch the mirror. But remember what Einstein said. Einstein said that the speed of light in free space has the same value in all inertial reference frames, which means that even though the person on the spaceship would be moving at the speed of light, the light would hit the, hit the uh, spaceship, would hit the, uh, the astronaut, it would bounce off the astronaut and would move towards the mirror at the speed of light no matter what reference frame you're in. Again, very strange concept. No one would initially believe in that this would be possible. Einstein said, yes, you would see your image in the mirror. And of course, that was a big controversy. And it turns out that, yes, indeed, now we realize that you would see your image in the mirror because this postulate is correct. No matter what reference frame you're in, the light will always appear to be traveling at the speed of light. An amazing thing. Now this would be one test that we probably could never check because we will never be able to travel at the speed of light. But you can do the test when V becomes very, 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 very close to C and at all points you will always see the speed of light moving at the speed of light at any speed of your reference frame. And that is kind of interesting. So there you go. This is what sets up the basis of special relativity. Now we're going to go and explore all the various equations that come from this particular concept and those postulates from Einstein. So that's what we're going to do next.